What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Welcome back to my channel. And today is a very special day. Well, it's nighttime, but today's a very special video, guys. And it has been a long time in the making. That is because a lot of you guys that have followed me for a long time that are the OG fans know that I did not grow up here in Los Angeles, California, where this giant mansion Team Rar house is right now. And for those of you that don't know, I grew up in Virginia and I posted this video just over three years ago where I had to say goodbye to the sheriff fam house today is a pretty crazy day it's a pretty monumental day in my life because today I'm saying goodbye to the sheriff fam house basically I was announcing that I'm moving out I'm doing a new chapter of my life and I moved here to California to the old team house and then to here and it's been three years since I've been home to visit everything has been so crazy so fast-paced but today as you guys can see behind me I got my bags packed got my team Rar backpack suitcase and I am about to catch a flight, guys. That is because I'm actually going home, back to the Sheriff Fam house, saying goodbye to the huge Team Rar house for now. And this is so exciting because I literally have not been home for so long. Guys, today is literally the day. This vlog is going to be awesome. I'm bringing you guys with me. Bags are packed. We are going to be heading to a super early flight all the way back to Virginia to the Sheriff Fam house, my parents' house, the house I grew up, the house my channel started in, where everything started, guys. I can't believe I'm finally going back today and it's been over three years. Wow, guys, check it out. This is literally a sunrise. I haven't seen a sunrise in a long time. So I haven't gotten up this early. Gotta load up the car with my stuff. All packed up, let's go to the airport. All right, well, I guess this is goodbye, Liz. Thanks for driving me to the airport. I'm gonna be gone for so long. How are you gonna survive without me? Oh, oh okay. Bye. Time to go catch a flight, guys. This is so exciting. Woo! Guys, I just landed. I'm um, still on the plane. We just got to the gate. I'm gonna be getting off and someone special is gonna be picking me up. So guys, comment down below right now and guess who is picking me up and uh, let's go find out. Super nice looking airport and uh, my ride is outside. So I'm about to go meet him. Jeez, look who it is. Wow, nice car. <laughs> it looks better in person than in pictures. Hey man. What's going on What's big car? Oh wait, Hunter, you got you can put two people in there. There it is guys. There is the house. We're getting close. I'm excited to see everyone. Pulling up to the house. Guys, I haven't been here for a very long time. Alright guys. Well long flight but i am officially back home staying outside the house pretty much the same spot i was when i said goodbye in the video i posted three years ago so now i'm gonna go in and say hi to everyone that's home it's so exciting i don't even know if my parents know that i'm standing outside right now we're about to find out oh there's someone there's cooper hey cooper oh he's so excited he's fluffy today hey you know he's so fluffy he's kind of getting thick Hey, Nicole! Guys, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Oh my god, Cooper! Cooper's crazy. Hey, hey guys. guys. You look so tall! Hey, Mom. Hi. How's the flight? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Good, oh, good. Is Hunter here? Yeah, Hunter's here. Oh, good. Oh, he's fat today. <laughs> he's like a roly poly. Why are you so fluffy and fat? Yeah, look at him. I don't know if I've seen him that thick in a while long. since Grandma's. <laughs> It feels amazing to be back at the Sheriff Fam house, guys. Literally three years, which is such a long time. And to put that into perspective, I was here at some of the very first videos I've ever filmed. Like literally maybe the first 10 videos of my entire YouTube career. And then I left and I haven't been back since. So unless you guys were one of my very first like 500,000 subscribers, you guys have never seen me post a video at this house. And a lot has changed. I'm gonna have to give you guys the full tour. You can still see some of it's like under construction, but there is so much going on this deck is not how I remember this thing is huge and it's got a garage underneath I don't even know if you guys can see it but it's absolutely wild and of course a baby otter misses me so much I haven't seen him very much he has came to visit me out in California a couple of times so I've been seeing him but not a whole lot 
Isn't that right, little guy? So my dad recently just bought a, like five more acres to add to the house, which is super exciting. It's like kind of a dream that I've always wanted growing up was to own the woods in the backyard. So now we own a lot more. And uh, this is the first time I've been home since we officially, I guess, have it now. And so we're gonna be riding back there. So I'm swapping out the shoes. I was wearing those, but I'm throwing on these boots so I don't get those new shoes. And this is what I'm riding right here, guys. So shout out to Liz for letting me ride your bike without me asking. But hey, she's home at the Timur house doing some stuff and I have no idea what she's up to, but we're gonna go ride. We got Cooper out, we got the dirt bike out, we're driving and my dad's kind of stuck. Can't go back up if he thinks it's too deep if he comes down. All right, here comes Cooper trying to save the day. Cooper, where are you going? Cooper. All right, well, let's see if he's gonna be able to get out of the creek. I think you're gonna be fine. All right, here he goes. Will it be too deep? I don't think so. Oh, it's deeper than I thought. But he is gonna be fine unless he flips over right there. All right, he's out. So guys, there's a huge fox. I'm gonna try to zoom in on it. There he is. Look at that guy. That fox, look at him. He's big, he's not even scared. Oh, there he is, he's running right. We're trying to point at him. It is so muddy as he's driving through, guys. I don't think I can make it through. He's got four fat tires. I got two little skinny ones. And even if I could make it through without getting stuck, I am going to get muddy and gross. So I'm gonna see if there's another way to go. I'm thinking if I can go pick the high road. Oh, and my mom's coming down. Hey, mom. There she is. We're gonna see who's faster, me on the dirt bike or my dad on the big red ATV. Otter, you wanna go for a ride on the dirt bike? I think he wants to, after the race will go. All dogs over here. All dogs here. Come here, Otter. <laughs> The race was kind of close, but he wasn't going full throttle, so I think he's definitely faster on that than I am on this. This bike isn't super fast, but let's see if Otter wants to go for a ride. Otter, come here. Otter. I'm going to be giving away a PS4, AirPods, an iPad mini, and a Nintendo Switch. And all you have to do is go to tbar.com, check out the giveaway, and enter absolutely for free. The more tasks that you enter, the higher your chances will be to win. So good luck, everyone. All right, it is time to drive the Jeep. It looks like it just started. We got to get this thing warmed up. It's kind of like the Doom Buggy. It's an old carbureted engine. This is a 78. My Doom Buggy is a 64, so it's actually a lot newer than the Doom Buggy. But both are still very old cars this one's loud carbureted isn't the most reliable so it really is kind of like the new buggy it's actually even harder to drive trying to shift gears on this is just challenging and this is the car that i learned to drive stick on and this is actually the first car i've ever owned we bought it back for 600 dollars when i was like 15 years old spent two years fixing it up now it's like a good looking car it's fun it's really fun to drive we got baby otter cooper my mom in the back seat my dad over there and i think Nicole is coming too, so we have to squeeze. I guess it's gonna be a full car with dogs and, and people. Oh, Cooper, you're excited. I haven't driven this thing in such a long time. I'm gonna see if I can still get all, get through all the gears. It's a big moment. I haven't to see if I can still drive this thing. I don't even know if I know the shift pattern, but we have it. Grace is gonna give me the tour of the basement. Oh wait, hang on a second. So close this door. I feel like this is already different. It starts with a mystery secret door. I mean, you can tell it's a door because of a doorknob, but this used to be like a regular door. And now it's like hidden. So do you get like lost in here sometimes? Yeah, and it tricks people because when you grab the doorknob, you're supposed to twist it, but it doesn't twist. So people always think it's locked, but it's actually you just pull it. Yeah, because it's like a different kind of door. It's like a little wheel. Yeah, it's like not a real handle. And then these paintings are new, and Ooh. Mama Cher did these. I picked out the colors because these are my favorite colors. Teal, blue, Ooh. gray, and white. And then over here. Moving down. It looks so different, but I do remember the giant fidget spinner. Yeah, and it still glows in the dark. It scares me sometimes. That's crazy. This thing was so wild. I'll we'll have to show a flashback of it. But this basement, Grace, is look at all these lights. Who put all those lights in? There's so many. So many lights. Brand new floor. And then this is my arts and crafts station. Wow, that's nice very nice. And neat. I got markers, paper, anything arts and crafts related, which I actually kind of do a lot. And they even have flowers that have my name on it. Oh my gosh. Does it just happen to say Grace or are they custom? No, that's just the 
name of uh, the brand. That's cool. And then if I get any mail, <laughs> you got a mailbox. it comes right here. <laughs> Well, that's solid. So over here in this closet, I remember it used to be the Nerf closet. So let's see. Oh, it looks like the costume closet now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Costume closet? Look at that guy, he's eating a cheeseburger. He's oh yeah. Actually, mom's making me a cheeseburger for lunch. Yeah, you're gonna look like that later. My belly's gonna be hanging out. What about yeah, yeah. this closet? Uh, that one's merch. This is merch? Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of t-shirts in there. What about this? This is probably the same. Yeah. Just storage. Tons of stuff. Oh, well, here's all of our old Nerf blasters that we've had years and years ago. There's at least one, two, three, four rows of just Nerf blasters. Nerf blaster RC car. Oh, uh, yeah. That and the X-Max. One video that we ended up filming in here, it was like a whole series, was we explored that, and it was like so scary up there and haunted. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah. There's something in there. Knock again. In there. That's so sketchy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can hear something moving around in there. We haven't been in there since probably the last time you went in, so there definitely could be a lot of stuff in there. It looks like you could get up there, but it's all piled up against there, probably for a good reason to keep keep that latch locked. Oh, it feels so cold too. Keep that locked. All right, well, let's keep moving. All right, so we're moving on with the basement. This place is, I love the lights. It's so well lit. They're not even all on, there's still more. Oh, then we have that hot tub out there. That's the best addition. Yeah, I didn't really film any of this, but we were going in the hot tub like every night. And it's like the biggest hot tub in the world. It's in the ground. It's like fits like eight people and you can sit here and look out in the backyard. It's very nice. It's the biggest one, but it's too cold. We gotta go back inside. And then this looks totally different. I don't even remember what was here before. I love these countertops. Very pretty, mm -hmm. very clean, well lit. And here, this used to be, I don't even remember what this used to be. This was just like a junk room or something. But I guess this door used to be a window. Oh, yeah. So now this goes out into the deck area, which is super cool. Well, I guess that's about the tour of the basement. We looked at every room down here and it looks totally different. I gotta get some like shots. I wish I had B-roll shots of like the before. It's totally different. Yeah, it's completely different. Ooh, guys, check this out. My mom's been working hard with all the decorations. She puts them on the piano. We got the stockings up over this way. And of course, the Christmas tree and some of the packages Oh, hey mom. What are you doing back there? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> mom, relax. What's going on? <laughs> you caught me. Caught you doing what? You're not supposed to be snooping around this time of year. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. You... <laughs> Guys, I think she was wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> And I just walked in on her. Oh my gosh, guys, comment down below if you saw what she was wrapping, because I want to know if any of those presents were maybe for me. And then I won't have to wait so long. Mom, what is in there? Nothing! What are you doing over here? Carter, what? What are you snooping for? I'm not stupid, I'm just vlogging. I'm Christmas you... shopping. What do you I mean? Your You're shopping for me? Yeah. It's up on my computer right now behind this screen. Well, tell me what it is. Oh, I gotta exit out. Let me see. Uh-uh. Is it gonna be here in time for Christmas? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't wait. I'm so excited for all these gifts. All right, you have to give me one hint. Um, it flies. It flies? Mm -hmm. Like an airplane or like a drone? Or, yeah. hmm. or a rocket? A rocket? Ooh, that's exciting. Well, I'm going to start my Christmas shopping now, too. And Otter, are you doing your Christmas shopping? <laughs> are you shopping, too? I don't know if he does much shopping, but he certainly gets a lot of gifts. Look at him walking around all chubby. Oh guys, I got an idea. Since we got this new deck on the house, I might be able to do a little bit more snooping. I think if I can walk around, I might be able to look onto her computer and see what she's snooping about. All right, here we go. Let's see what she's shopping for. Oh, uh -oh. does she see me? All right, what does that say, guys? Hi, Carter, I see you snooping. What the heck, Grace? How'd you know I was back here? <laughs> oh my gosh. She probably knew I was sleeping this whole time that she had enough time to go on Photoshop and write that message. What the heck, Grace? I saw you. How'd you see me? Pranked. <laughs> Pranked. <laughs> I guess no hints for my Christmas present, but well, actually one hint, it flies. So guys, comment down below. What flies that Grace would get me? But I feel like it's too easy if it was just a drone. It has to be something like 
interesting that you wouldn't initially guess is what I'm thinking. I know a lot of you guys are wondering where Steven is this weekend. And well, he's not home this weekend, so I wasn't able to see him. He wasn't able to be a part of this video. And I know a lot of you guys are anticipating a huge collaboration or us to film videos again. And so I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I think it's only fair to you guys as the fans that have made everything possible in our lives that supported us from day one to be filled in a little bit to have a little bit better idea of what to expect in the future. As most of you guys probably know, Steven and I started YouTube together back in 2016 on his channel and we filmed a ton of videos together for about uh, a little over one year. It was then at that point I created my own channel and was able to create the content that I thought was a little bit more personalized to me. It was then that Liz opened her channel and she was able to make content that was more personalized to her taste and style and creativity. And at that time, all three of us had our own channels and we were all making content and even Baby Otter had a channel. And shortly after, Liz and I made the huge leap to travel all the way from Virginia all the way out to LA. LA for the next chapter of our lives where we found the first Team Rar house. And for the next year and a half, we would create some incredible content at that house and some of my favorite videos of all time. And that brings us to the newest chapter of my life where I currently am today, where I'm at the new Team Rar house with Liz and the rest of Team Rar. And we're still working hard to make bigger and better videos and to figure out what the next chapter of our lives look like. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys have noticed from the time that I left back in 2017 through the couple of chapters that I've recently lived through that Steven was not a part of any of my videos and I was not a part of any of his. And this is the part that I think you guys are extremely curious about and the part that I think that you guys deserve to be updated on. Steven and I had a great thing going back in 2016 when we were making content on his channel and underneath the Share the Love brand. But there is so much that has changed in that time and so many differences that really led us to seek our own creative endeavors and to start our own channels and to pursue our own lives independently from one another. There's been a lot of things that has happened between us in the past few years and it's really led us to live our own lives independently and to pursue our own selves and our own chapters and discover who we are through our content and outside of content as well. And I know a lot of you guys are expecting and anticipating a huge collaboration video or a number of collaboration videos where Steve and I get back together, we film a bunch of content together just like we did back in the old days. And what I wanna say to that is I don't see anything like that happening anytime soon, at least in the near future horizon. And I know that might sound very disappointing for some of you guys watching as you guys we're hugely anticipating us to, to link back up and stuff like that. I'm also hopeful that there is something maybe further down the line, maybe after some more time passes or more things can change. But as of right now, and to give you guys the full update that I think you guys deserve because you guys are just so much anticipating something to happen and I just don't wanna let you guys down. So I wanna be as honest as I can with of course, you know, not sharing too much personal information. But I do wanna let you guys know that I am extremely happy. I'm excited about the chapters that I've accomplished in the past and the future ones to come. I'm excited about the content that I'm gonna to continue to create. And I'm also so thankful for you, all of your support. And guys, you know, a video like this and bringing up messaging, this is really not the kind of content that I like to create. Obviously, I like to create the crazy and fun stuff, but I feel like sometimes I need to kind of bring things back down to a level and communicate with all you guys that are watching here because you guys are so curious and I don't want to disappoint. I want you guys to love the content that we produce. Continue to support us so we can continue to keep climbing and climbing and doing amazing things for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the video. This one was a little bit different, but it is so meaningful to me. So thank you guys all for joining me and being a part of my life. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace. You guys ready for the next video? Click right here or right here. Also check out teamrar.com. We got some awesome stuff like this plushie, this backpack, shirts, hats, everything that you can ever want. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here. And I'll see you guys on that next vlog. Click right there or right here. Do something.